God is amazing. We live in His universe rent-free. We live on His earth. We breathe His oxygen and doesn't charge us anything. Just imagine if we had to pay for the air we breathe. We have so much to be grateful for in our lives. Life has a lot to do with perspective. Yes, we all have problems. We all have needs. But do we ever take the time to just sit and thank God for the things in our lives? The world is moving so fast around us and we are dealing with the pressures of life. We forget to give thanks for all that God has done and continues to do in our lives. Psalm 136 verse 1 O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. According to Psalm 150 verse 6, the Bible commands that everything that has breath should praise God. The fact that there still is breath in your lungs means you have an obligation to praise him. The Bible establishes in Lamentations 3 verse 22 that it is by the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. What qualifies a man to be alive? His righteousness, wealth, beauty or what? The righteousness of a man is like a filthy rag before God. Besides, several innocent and more righteous people have passed on into eternity today. Our money cannot bribe God, and our beauty is no currency to Him. Nothing else sustains a man other than the mercy of God. And how merciful is He! Think of Him. The great God gives you life today Every breath that you breathe that you take for granted is because of Him. The great Creator came upon this earth and died for you on the cross because we are sinners. He didn't have to come. He didn't have to fix this problem of sin in humanity, but He did. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If all he ever did was give his Son for us on that cross, so that we do not have to perish, that would be enough to thank him for all eternity. But he has done so much more than this. In Luke 17, verse 11 until 19, we see the importance of being grateful and showing our gratitude to God for what He has done for us. Ten lepers met Jesus on His way to Jerusalem. Remember that lepers are not permitted to live in the city. They were regarded as unclean and were to be at the outskirts of the town. They knew Jesus could heal them and they cried to him for mercy. Jesus asked them to go and present themselves to the priest according to the custom of the Jews for a man when he is cleansed. On their way, they got entirely healed from their leprosy. But it was astounding that only one of them returned to appreciate what Jesus had done for him. Then Jesus asked him a question that applies to many of us. Where are the other nine? I would like to ask you again. Where are you? Are you one of the other nine who would never find any reason to acknowledge what the Lord has done, but will tirelessly make requests? Have you ever counted your blessings and appreciate God for them all? 
When last did you sing and dance in appreciation to God for your life and family? It is unfortunate that out of every ten, it is only one that always returns to say, Thank you, Lord. The interesting thing about the story is that the one who came back to appreciate Jesus was a Samaritan. Where were the Jews? Most times unbelievers appreciate God more than professing Christians. We always have endless needs. We are not tired of presenting them before God one after the other. But we do not put the same effort in thanking Him. I want to ask you a question. Do you put the same amount of effort in praying and asking God for something as you do in thanking Him for it? That is an honest question. Do you? A profound lesson that every believer should learn from the story of the ten lepers is that when you return to appreciate God for that which He has done for you, your testimony becomes permanent. In verse 19, notice that Jesus said to the one who came back to appreciate Him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee Whole. The other nine lepers were only healed, they were not made whole. You have every reason to be grateful to God. You were a sinner living on His planet, in His universe. Yet He sent His only begotten Son to die for your sins. Do you know how many great benefits we received through the sacrifice of Christ? On the cross, our relationship with God was restored. We were delivered from Satan, sin, and the consequences of sin, apart from the hope of heaven that we have gotten. Just try to imagine what your life would have been without Christ. Without Christ, our lives would have been best described as formless and void as the earth mentioned in Genesis 1 verse 2. When you think of all God has done for you personally, you would discover that it was His mercy that kept you going. While you were in your mother's womb, you were helpless, but God's eyes kept watch over you. He monitored your mother's pregnancy, even as she gave birth to you, he was there. While you were growing as a child, do you know how many times that the angels of God saved you from harm and protected you from danger? Now that you have grown, shouldn't your life be praise-filled? You know how reckless you were in your past, but God kept you. Praise be to God, we always want more, but we spend little or no time thanking Him for what we already have. Sometimes God by His mercies even refuses to give us some of the things we are asking from Him. If He had given us all that we requested, our lives would have been miserable because we do not even know what we need. If only our eyes are opened to see God's heart and how that He laments over ungrateful men, we won't try to add up their numbers.